What's going on, Chicago South sports fans? Uh, this is Anthony. I'm just going to do a quick solo video on something kind of personal. Um, I'm not going to talk really exactly about sports today. Um, for those of you who follow wrestling or mine and Hitman's wrestling videos, um, if you follow wrestling news, uh, older WCW wrestler Shannon Spruill, also known as Daphne, um, she passed away. Well, they found her yesterday. She took her own life. <clears throat> um, I don't know who this wrestler was. I never heard of her up until yesterday. Never watched any of her matches. I, I don't know who she is. Um, but for some reason, I felt the need to do a video on something personal. Uh, now, I'm not doing this for likes or subscriptions, or you don't have to give a thumbs up to the video or comment or anything. Um, I just want to touch on the topic of suicide a little bit. Uh, again, I, I heard about this, and for some reason, it hit me kind of hard. Again, I don't know who this woman was. I've never seen any of her matches, but I'm going to uh, do some uh, do some YouTube stuff on her. Um, I want to say, if not more than 10 years ago, it's been at least 10 years ago, um, I found myself in that spot, and I tried to take my own life. Uh, it all started, I, I got badly electrocuted at a job, couldn't walk. Um, <clears throat> and then after that, everything just started kind of crumbling down, you know, it's slowly but surely my life fell apart, you know. Um, my girlfriend left me, well, she's my wife now, Amy. Uh, at the time we were just dating, I turned into a intolerable prick. Uh, she left me. Um, my mom moved like 70 miles away. That that really, really hurt me. Um, and I don't know, some, some other things just happened and my father was away somewhere. I don't know where he was. Uh, I was working at Target at the time and that day I decided to try and take my own life. I I actually knocked out my old target boss. Uh, he made a comment to me. I kind of put him to sleep. <clears throat> um, I made a few phone calls. Um, Scott, who does the White Sox videos with us, I called him. Um, I asked him if he could just keep an eye on my daughter. I have a 13-year-old daughter. I asked him if he could just once in a while peek in on her for me. And I proceeded to head to my father's house. I went in his basement. I tried to take my own life. I tried to hang myself. Um, I'm embarrassed saying that. Um, I don't know how, but I ended up on the phone with my mother. I'm, I'm guessing I called her saying goodbye. Um, she was able to keep me on the phone long enough. And the police came my father's house and I, I was fighting with police. I, I tried to go, tried to go out by being put down by them. If I couldn't do it the way I wanted, I was just done. Um, <laughs> and I don't know, it's just, today I'm, I'm so happy I'm so happy that my mother did what she did. There were times I, I've, I've told my wife, because to this day, I, I still fight depression. Um, it's a big thing with me. Uh, I don't take any kind of medicine. I just kind of wake up and I, I deal with it. You know, I wake up, I strap my boots on, I go to work and I, I just got to deal with shit. If I have to come home and cry, or scream or, or go in the garage and 
hit the punching bag. That's what I do. But depression is still a huge factor in my life. Um, but I'm so goddamn happy now that my mother, my mother saved me. <laughs> I mean, literally saved my life by calling. Uh, there's times in the past after the fact I, I've told my wife in a depressive manic mood or whatever, I, I would say I, I I'll never forgive my mother for basically saving my life. Um, of course, today I feel totally different. I'm very happy. I'm very happily married to the most beautiful woman that I've ever laid eyes on. We've been together, I think, 12 years, 13 years. We married going on four in November. Um, I have four great stepkids, uh, two stepsons, two stepdaughters that I love dearly like they're my own. And then, of course, I have my daughter, um, that little girl. <laughs> I, I was at a point in my life where I was telling then my girlfriend and my mother, she would be so much better without me. Um, I wish I would have reached out for help instead of taking it to that point because I was there. Uh, the only reason it didn't work is where I had my little knot tied up, the, the beam broke. I was too heavy for it. Um, I guess I'm thankful for my father for buying a house with shit wood in the basement, <laughs> rotting wood. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy. As you see, I got my, my little three-legged cat back there. Uh, I love her to death. I'm sure you've seen my, my dog running around in the background doing other videos with Scott and Hitman. Uh, I love him. He's basically my son. I have my beautiful wife, like I mentioned. I have my kids, my home. Uh, yeah, life, life is a bitch sometimes. Um, but the main focus of this video is if you need help, if you're feeling you're at that point, reach out. Someone is there for you. Um, it might not be the answer you like. You might not want to be, you might not hear what you want to hear, but there is help. There are answers out there for you. There are people that love and care for you. Um, I'm will and testament to that. Um, like I said, I still fight depression today. So again, remember, if you need help, reach out. And I just want to tell my friends, I love you guys like brothers, man. And uh, I'm always here for you. So if you need me, give me a call, come knock on my door and we'll take care of business. That's all. It's just a quick little personal video. And uh, remember, stay tough. Chicago tough.